Hello, my friends. Welcome back and welcome to another stay at home look at a Linux distribution. This is new for 2020, I believe, it was just released uh, this month or maybe even a few days ago. This is a uh, Farin OS. Uh, this has a looks like this has a modified version of the Plasma desktop, a very nice looking, snazzy looking uh, desktop with some transparency effects, it looks like. Now, Farron OS, uh, I've taken a look uh, in the past. I think I took a look at Farron OS, I'm going to guess last year. I know it's been a while. But let's move on. So, this is the default desktop here. This will be pretty much an unedited video. It's what you see is what you get. Um, I will not be installing this. I've had very, very good luck lately with Ubuntu based systems or just testing uh, Ubuntu systems running it off a um, live USB stick. So I'll stick with that. Now there are instructions on the Farron OS website on how to download this and check to make sure that the download is not corrupted. As you see here, this is how you can check it. I've done a tutorial or two about this. I will not show you again. Make sure you look at this. If the download is corrupted, please do not install it. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. All right, so we have now a simple screen recorder it does not in come installed by default. I think it should be. I think anything that's a flagship distribution or something I would consider a flagship di distribution like this or Ubuntu, there should be at least one screen recorder installed. And simple screen recorder seems to be quite stable. All right, so this I installed. So let's go ahead and minimize this for now. All right, so it says, welcome to Farron OS. We can choose, uh, I guess, different theme and accent colors. Let's just, um, I don't know, should we go green? I guess we can go green for now. I'm not sure if this is going to work running off a live ISO. You may have to install this. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, default light dark. Uh, will it change? Yeah, some of it has changed. I can see a dark icon here. All right, let's go ahead and click next. And uh, I guess that was it. Nothing else happens off of live mode. Maybe it was designed that way. I don't know. All right, it looks like we have, is this a timer? Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, notifications do not disturb, enable notifications. Ah, okay, all right. I guess that can stay there. All right, so right click on the desktop. If you've messed with Plasma desktops before, such as Kubuntu KDE Neon, you know how these work. Let's go to configure desktop. Uh, that's a nice wallpaper, but let's pick something a little bit warmer because here in Ohio right now, it's freaking freezing for this time of year. I almost froze my kernels off, but I'm being, um, yeah, let's go with that one. That looks nice and warm and we have some more options here. I think I'll just leave this the way it is. So yeah, that looks nice and summerish. All right. So we have one panel at the bottom. And let's go to the shortcuts real quick here. Status notifications, internet. This is my microphone. Left clicking, nothing happens. I guess we have to right click. Fair enough. I have a suggestion. I know you are a very, very talented young man. Can you put, can you place, can you build, can you code an input level meter for the freaking microphone? Okay. I mean, I know I, I can I can do this and it, and I can guess where to be, but this should this should have a meter, and it doesn't have it at least not by default. Now, I don't know if this changes if after installing, but not having a level meter. I have to tell you, as a Windows user, it really irks me. Just a personal observation. Otherwise, this looks fantastico. Okay, let's move along. Just a little rant there. Okay, so if we go to edit panel. And of course, we can change the height. We can make it this big like Arnold Schwarzenegger doll. Or we can make it small like this. You know, we can move it. Anyway, you get the picture. We can remove the panel, but don't do that unless you have another panel. <laughs> Some more settings, as you see here. Auto hide, always visible. Okay, we'll just leave that the way it is. So let's go ahead and scroll more to the left. Of course, my simple screen recorder. And this is the installer of this probably, I'm sure it has a user-friendly installer, so I will not go there. Let's go shopping at the store. Will this work in live USB mode? Hey, that's pretty cool, Farinet. I mean, this booted right up. This started right up, rather. Cool, that was really, really fast. I was not expecting that, running this off a live USB stick. I mean, that's freaking awesome. I like how this looks. 
Yeah. I like the use, well, this, this is dark metal, but I like the use of the fonts and the colors here. Um, I like this, Farron. Yeah, so far, the, how this uh, feeling of a live USB stick, I was not expecting that to, you know, start so fast. Okay, so we have some shortcuts here. The welcome screen, let's click that. And uh, let's see here, install now, introduction. Features, getting started, installation, online store community, get involved and donate. Okay, all right, this is all good. Nice, nice. I like the feel of this so far. Global theme, desktop layout, choose your desktop layout. Ah, Breeze, Cupertino, familiar, Farron OS default. This is kind of like the uh, the um, layouts, uh, panel layouts for Ubuntu Mate. You know, let's just leave this the way it is. You can send some feedback. All right, let's move along. Let's click the start button or the launcher. And I believe if you right click, uh, yeah, show alternatives, you have some different launchers here. Application dashboard, we'll switch. I, I think I've shown you this before, but we'll just do it again in case you haven't seen it. Show alternatives, application launcher. And let's see here. All right, very good. I think I have. I think my favorite here is coming up as far as launchers go. Application menu, switch. I, I think I kind of like this just for simplicity. All right, let's show some more. Why not? Simple menu. And okay. Very good. And then I see one more, a tiled menu. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Farron, this looks like Windows. Shame on you. Actually, Windows 10 just does work for me, even though it's probably the worst Windows version out there right now for a lot of people with the screwed up updates. But actually, Farron, this looks actually pretty nice. Looks like in alphabetical order. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was just kidding, Farron, but this actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, um, it kind of reminds me too much of Windows, but uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But uh, anyway, I just got a notification on my phone. I keep telling, you know, Gates, Bill Gates to stop calling me, okay? Uh, all right, let's move on. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to, uh, uh, what do I want to do? Show alternatives. Anyway, lots of choices here, obviously, so we'll just stick with the, um, no, that's not what I want. Which one that I want? Uh, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's that one. Okay, let's go to the software real quick. Probably nothing unusual here. The LibreOffice suite installed by default internet. I see Vivaldi is installed versus Firefox. It looks like Vivaldi is a little faster. All right, I installed Simple Screen Recorder, Office, LibreOffice settings, a whole slew of office, uh, of, of, of settings here rather. Uh, Synaptic Package Manager is installed by default. Yay, my favorite package manager. Um, Ferrin Maintenance Tool, let's take a look at that. Uh, it opens up the console. Would you like to begin? Welcome to the Farron OS maintenance check tool. This will to, to, this is used to look for certain IS issues, not ISS issues. Okay. Um. Nah. Since I'm not installing this, let's just just get out of that. But that let's get out of that. But that looks that looks nice. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's see anything else here catches my eye system let's look at the monitor and uh, using about 1.1 gig all right reasonable running the recorder let's go utilities nothing out of the usual there nothing out of the out of the unusual here uh, I like the default colors, fonts, um, yeah, it looks, I like it. Um, let's see what this looks like, okay, shutting down in 30 seconds, do not do that. Uh, this looks pretty nice, Farron, of course, uh, the Plasma Desktop, famous for its widgets, or I guess they're called plasmoids, if I recall. 
So yeah, this is um pretty nice. We can put that there. By the way, the the clock is wrong because I haven't installed this, but of course you wouldn't know that until I told you, ha huh? ha. Um dictionary, why not? Will it work? Let's see. Let's type in uh vernacular. Will it work in the USB mode? Hey, that was pretty fast. I'm impressed without installing this fair and very nice. I liked it. I like it. Uh, let's see here. Hit the super key brings up the menu. Very nice. Do we have a weather widget? Ah, yes. Let's see if this will work. Configure location I'm gonna choose Miami because I wish I was there it's gonna freaking snow tonight here come on um, this may not work in USB mode I'm assuming uh, yeah, it's not doing anything okay that's okay it's alright I'm sure it works after you install this so we'll just leave it the way it is well look this looks nice uh, it <laughs> runs better than I thought it would off a live USB stick um, yeah there's really nothing um, bad I can say about this at least not in my uh, brief test um, let's run the terminal here uh, let's do htop I guess it's not installed uh, let's try sudo apt install uh, let's see, oh, Audacious, one of my favorites, music players, and fast enough. I just love Ubuntu-based systems, don't you? Yes, Toss, we do. We never would have guessed you liked Ubuntu-based. Bye. And uh, there we go. All right. No bloat, as DT says. No bloat. I like the transparency effects. Okay. Everything you need to get started is in this Farron OS for April for 2020. Very, very, uh, two words come to mind, extremely polished, really, really polished. So like I said, my only gripe is, and this is with the Plasma desktop, they need to put a volume level meter uh, for the uh, for the microphone and because uh, it ain't here unless it's somewhere else which I'm not sure why you would put it somewhere else but it ain't here that's my only gripe well done Farron uh, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this definitely give it a 100 percent total OS recommendation certified by a Windows user like myself check it out and on that note I shall say arrivederci